Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. Now you guys probably know that I love shoes. Now, I don't love shoes as much as some of my subscribers. But sometimes I'm just not in a shoe mood. And I got a hankering for something a little bit more edgy, a little bit more macho, masculine, rugged. And when I get in these crazy moods, there's only one thing that can fix the fever I'm having and that is a great pair of stylish boots. So today we're talking about boots. <gasps> Sorry, I threw up a little bit in my mouth when I saw those. Let's try this again. So today we're talking about boots. <sighs> Much better. Now remember guys, we're trying to create a visual streamline from your neck down to your toes. I didn't say to the bottom of your pants, uh-uh, we gotta keep that going all the way down to your shoes. So if you put on a big, clunky, chunky, bulky pair of shoes, it's gonna make you look heavier, shorter, dumpier than you actually are. So boots are no exception. If you put on a pair like this, you just made yourself look about three inches shorter and 20 pounds heavier. Your sexiness just went down four notches. Not good. Now today we're gonna break boots down into three different categories. We've got functional boots, casual boots, and dressy boots. Let's start with functional. Now functional boots are boots that were designed or manufactured for a specific task or function. Like you're a construction worker and you need to wear something with a steel toe so if you drop a plank you don't crush your little piggies or you're in the army or navy or military and you need to wear combat boots. Um, they're designed basically to keep you dry, keep you safe, uh, for comfort as well in case you're walking long distances or trekking through villages in, in Southeast Asia. I don't know what people do with combat boots, but they're functional. Hiking boots, you need them to have great traction. You need them to keep you warm, stay dry. But let's think about and take hiking boots as an example. There are lots of different pairs and styles of hiking boots, like these. Nothing really stylish or sexy about those, but there are hiking boots that are a little bit more streamlined, a little bit more simple, a little bit more stylish, like this pair from Vask. See the difference? One, big, bulky, ornate, crazy colors. The other, simple, a little bit more narrow. They're still gonna keep your feet dry, but they look a whole lot better. Next up, dress boots. Now, dress boots, they are making boots these days that you can wear with suits, you can wear with slacks, that you can really dress up. Typically, they're gonna have a real high shine. Not a whole lot of crazy detail on the toe. They look more like shoes or loafers when your pan is down, but you sit down, you cross your leg, and somebody goes, oh wow, they're boots, they look so great. Here's an example. Topping the list of the most expensive that I actually am showing you, these are a pair of dress boots by Bruno Maglia. But for those of you who don't want to spend $500, you might opt for a middle range pair like these Kenneth Cole. Now if the $200 price tag is still a little bit out of your range, that's okay baby, because there are a lot of designers that are making dress boots that are still relatively affordable. Like Fitzwell, for instance. The brand is called Fitz well, <laughs> and uh, this pair you're about to see runs for about 60 to $70, but still looks fantastic. And lastly, let's talk about my favorite, casual boots. So it's cold outside, and nothing, I'm talking nothing, looks better with a great pair of jeans than a great pair of casual boots. Something a little bit rugged, edgy, you got a little heel on it, maybe it's a little bit scuffed up. It looks dynamite. Whenever I see somebody, or a guy specifically, that is dressed great, I always innately look down at his shoe, and I'm like, if he's got a pair of great, cool, casual boots on, I'm like, hell yeah, I wanna go up and give him a good, firm handshake, or knuckle bump or a hug because he gets it. Now you may know this from a previous video, but my favorite boot company in the entire world is a company called Fry. They make biker boots, they make cowboy boots, they make chakas, they make all sorts of different boots. So I wanna now show you a selection of different casual boots that Fry makes.
sexy. The bad news about fries are that they are expensive. You're gonna pay over $200 typically for any pair of boots that they sell, whether it's short ones, tall ones, middle ones, $200 and above. The good news is, is that they're made extremely well, so they're not gonna fall apart on you in a year, two years, three years. They're gonna be around for five years, six years, seven years, depending on how well you take care of them. And they're timeless. They're not gonna go out of style in five years from now. Fries are fantastic. But there are a ton of other designers that are making fantastic men's casual boots, like Kenneth Cole. Downside to Kenneth Cole, they're also relatively expensive. They're not gonna last you as long as the fries either, but they do have a great selection of different styles. Um, they are a little bit more on the trendy side, so the chances of these boots going out of style in a few years is a little bit better than, say, something classic like the fries. But Kenneth Cole, great designer. Steve Madden, another men's shoe designer, is also making a great selection of casual boots. They're doing a lot with, you know, sort of taking the old classics like a combat boot, sort of modernizing them and making them very, very affordable for you guys. Here's a bunch of different um, Steve Madden boots. The good news? They're inexpensive, typically under $100. The bad news, they're not made real well, so they're gonna fall apart in, depending on how long you wear them, it could be next year, you might have to throw them away. But are they stylish? Yes. Are they cool? Yes. Are they ready for you? Absolutely. And I'm not forgetting my boys Timberland. No, I'm not, because they are actually stepping up their game and making a bunch of boots that are also stylish and very fashion forward, like these two pairs. The company Aldo is also making a great selection of men's casual winter boots. Check these out. Decent price, crappy quality, sort of up to you. And how can I forget my buddies at Doc Martin? Because you guys make some ugly boots. And while we're on the topic of ugly, check out these. Uggs. Stands for ugly. <laughs> These boots look terrible on women. The only thing that make women look good in them are guys because guys look even more terrible in these boots. I've gotten a few comments where people actually have sent me emails asking me, Aaron, what do you think about Ugg boots for men? I'm like, <laughs> is this a joke? <laughs> Don't do it. So the next question, where do I go to find these great boots? Don't go to a department store. They have a crappy selection of men's shoes. They have an even worse selection of men's winter boots. Go online, guys. You're going to have a tremendous selection. Go to a website like zappos.com or endless.com and do searches for men's boots. You're going to have thousands to pick from. One thing, when you're ordering them, if you wear a nine and a half shoe, when you're buying a boot, typically you want to go down half a size so your foot's not swimming around in there. So. Quick, go to your websites or go to the computer. You're at the computer. Go look at men's boots and order a pair. You're going to love them. Have a great day. I'm Aaron Marino. Bye-bye. Next item of business. If you haven't gone to Blank Label's website, the link's down below and in the sidebar, you need to go and check out the new fabrics they got. They are killing it with plaids. And as you know, if you've been in the store, plaids are huge this season. Huge, 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 huge. Look, I'm even wearing a plaid shirt in this video. <laughs> anyway, go check them out. The problem with a lot of plaid shirts that you find in the stores, they're not cut real well. And they, they're real big, real boxy. Go to Blank Label and make yourself one that's cut and fits you perfectly. <sighs> I'm trying to tell you. And the last item of business. I was approached by another YouTuber called Slick Hair TV. That's their channel. And it's two twin brothers named Rasmus and Emil. And a lot of you guys are probably subscribers to theirs, but uh, for those of you who aren't, they have a fantastic channel. It's all about men's hair, different products, product reviews, different hairstyles. The first thing you're going to notice is that Emil and Rasmus are two incredibly handsome Danish people. It should be illegal to be that good looking. It's like make one guy that good looking, God, but then make two? It's a cruel joke on the rest of us. <laughs> but anyway, that's beside the point.
I'm not doing much for my sexuality here. <laughs> the dudes are handsome. Anyway, um, they approached me and they said, Aaron, we would like to do a collaborative video with you. Will you do a video about your hair? And I blew it off for a while. I was like, I don't have time. I don't have time. And last week I was like, sure. So I actually did it and uh, they posted the video. The second link below or in the sidebar is a link to their video of me doing my hair and talking about my hair. But the other thing you're going to notice is that their videos are great. They have music and edits and transitions and sped up parts. They must have a Mac. <laughs> and guess who doesn't? <laughs> Check out the video. Subscribe to them. If you're not, they're awesome. And I appreciate you uh, checking out the video. Have a great day. I'll see you next week. Bye.